this is the mansion. The same mansion that all these suicides have happened. I'm going to investigate the matter and find out who's causing these victims to end their own life. Damn. I should have went to bed earlier. Luckily, I have a flask of coffee with me to survive. Ah! Oh, it was just a clock. Hold up. My watch says it's 22. Unless someone didn't assign the clocks right. Maybe I'll just walk down the hallway. Someone's banging on the doors. I I'm not ready for this. Hello? Is anyone in there? I'm just a friendly person who took a gamble of staying here for a dare. I'm getting out of here. I don't even care for the challenge. Stay calm. Your pain will soon be over. Liam Catterson and Bella McCatty in The Catterson Chronicles Series 1, Episode 6 Manipulation Written by Liam Catterson I can't believe it. Eric is dead. I am just at a loss for words. He was a courageous friend, always brave. But I never knew he had so many demons that forced him to do this. Excuse me, I'm not wanting to look at the body, but are you sure someone didn't just shoot him in the head? Well, the angle of the shot seemed to be from suicide, and we won't get a full exact report until the coroner fills out the blanks, but from the gun found on the floor, the angle of the shot, everything matches to a suicide. So what do we do? Stay the hell away from this place. I don't even think Eric was suicidal. He was always positive and took the mick out of anything that was trying to bring him down. We knew him best and he told us his deepest secrets. He would tell us if he was suffering so much that suicide would even be a factor. But there was no fingerprints on the gun apart from the person that killed themselves. Who would kill him? I'm not even sure what the hell is going on here, but we do not under any circumstances, come here. Well, I don't mind spending the night here to see what's going on. And I promise you, I'm not even suicidal. Yes, Eric's death shocked me, and I am upset that we lost the greatest person this planet has graced us with. But I'm also curious. I believe something happened in that mansion, and I'm going to find out exactly what caused tonight. You are not going in there! I already lost one best friend. I am not going to lose another in the second night. Blake, I am going to be fine. You can try to stop me, but at least I'm telling you I'm entering that place. With Eric, it was he just had something important to do that would end a mystery. You know, for a ship that takes you around the universe in time and space, present-day Earth seems to be a common place for you. We've just visited the Shining Guardians of Florin. You loved it there. And before that, we went to Scammy, the planet where everyone had two heads. We've had some fun times. Besides, I was originally going to take you to this planet where every piece of material was made out of foods that these scavengers collected from their secret mission to Earth. Oh, I swear I could have burst the last time I went there. What does that look for? You were going to take me to a planet where everything is made of food and instead we're outside a mansion? The Orbis took me here and I have no idea what's going on. But I am going to do what I do best. Find out. Excuse me! Sorry to stick my nose into your business, Liam Catterson and Sarah Penelope. I just want to know what happened here. Just a friend I had became the latest suicide victim in that house there. Now my other friend is planning to investigate the house. I am so sorry for your loss. Oh, it's fine. 
I'm just annoyed that my other friend is going to go in there and kill himself, even though he said to me he plans not to. Well, if he's not intending to, surely he won't. But that is exactly it. Anyone who stays overnight does not come out. And every time the victim shoots him or herself, there is no DNA traces of the murderer's DNA on the weapon. It is always the prints of the victim. There were others? How many victims have died? Eric was the fourth. Four suicides, and they've all happened within the past two weeks. But don't bother investigating, because my best friend is about to become the next target to investigate. Liam, I think we should. So you guys are suicidal too? Fantastic. No, we are not that, and quite frankly, that is not the attitude to have. We've seen extraordinary things that the human mind cannot begin to imagine, and I do believe that these suicides were something else. And that is why I'm agreeing with Sarah in the suggestion that this is an investigation that we should handle. Now, where is your friend? Over there, trying to get more questions from the paramedics. Liam, what is your verdict prior to the investigation? We need background on all the victims that have died. I don't really believe that his friend was even suicidal. I can read his expression. It hinted that it was a shock death. Unless he didn't want to tell his friends. Excuse me, are you the other friend of the latest victim? I assume you mean my friend Eric. Yes, I'm Sean. I saw you talking to Blake. I assumed he was moaning on about me offering to take up the investigation myself. How right you are. Can I ask, was your friend, well, I don't want to sound disrespectful. What he is trying to say is that he's heard the reports of all the victims apparently shooting themselves to end their life, and he was wondering if your friend had intentions of suicide. No, I don't believe he was. I known him all my life and he was the kind of guy that would smile at everything. That's why I took the offer to investigate this matter myself, because I don't believe it is as simple as everyone else is making it out to be. So he wasn't intending to die? How can you be so sure? There was nothing negative surrounding his life. The last time I saw him upset was six years ago when he lost his uncle to cancer. Ever since then. We coined the term, Eric was the happiest man alive. So I don't believe that he wanted to kill himself. But then Blake brought up the fact that the only fingerprints that were found were on the gun and all the other victims themselves. Can I ask a massive request because Blake is a bit upset that you're risking your life for this. But do you mind if you sit this one out and we investigate? It's just, he wants you alive, and I believe Liam and myself can solve this issue. I'm not sure. I mean, I'll stick around with you guys. I wouldn't. These events are tragic, and what if the killer strikes you, and you don't even notice it? What happens then? I'll take my chances, but sorry. That's the way it is. I'm not going to let my best friend's death be unavenged. I'll see you here later tonight. So how come you want him to take time off, but not me? Surely if this killer is making people die, you'd want me to be safe. You're by my side. Besides, you're always quick to react. I'm sure you'll be fine. I expect so. We meet again. This time, you will be met with. Liam Cutterson! So, Eric Wolf becomes victim number four in these string of events. Amanda Silver, George Hills, and Sarah Berwick have all been victims of these so called suicides. However, none of them have had a history of abuse. Something is bothering me. I feel some kind of strange force is behind this. Something was weird when I stepped outside, and that weird feeling hasn't washed away. Don't all Syrians get ill? Yes, but my reactions get aggressive. Now, Sean has willingly put himself in our way to find out what's going on. To be fair, he is concerned. So is his friend. And looking at it, so am I. 
Sarah, now I don't feel it's safe for you to go into this place. People healthy enough to pass for happiness come out in one way, and that's in a body bag. I don't want you to be in that same position. Liam, you care for my safety too much. At some point, you're going to have to let go and know I am stronger than you imagine me to be. I am volunteering myself to do this, and I know you're suggesting me not to because you don't want to see me die, but I've made it this far with you. Hell, I've nearly been converted into a riser. Still human today. Sorry, it's... I just value you too much to lose someone important. But if you're going to go through with this, then I want you to stick by my side. Liam! I know, but we don't even know what we're dealing with if there is any other kind of force killing these victims. So you don't think it was what was reported? I highly doubt it. But if I'm certain on one thing, it's that we're going to deal with this problem tonight. What the hell was that? Is anyone in here? Who are you? Liam, what the heck? I have no idea. But I'd like to imagine it has something to do with the case we're on. Night time. Of all the times you choose to investigate a haunted building, you choose the night. Hey, it's not my fault that these happenings happen on a night. Besides, it wasn't my fault either that someone is scared. You don't know what fear is until you've come across me. Well, I can confess I am a little bit spooked. I haven't been to one of these scenarios since I was eight. So, is this where your friend was murdered? Yeah. Have you been in the room since he shot himself? Not at all. I've been going by the reports that he shot himself. <sighs> Maybe I should have looked in the morgue itself. I thought you were a time traveler, not an investigator. Who's a what? Surprise. Something isn't right. Something unnatural. By that you mean? By that, I haven't got a clue because it could be anything. That's the thrill of the big wide universe. Anything could come along. So, how often do you visit Earth and do stuff like this? Well, I've just re- <sighs> It's just a bottle, Liam. Did you just get freaked out by a freaking bottle? You'd be astonished at how- Huh. Interesting. Liam? I don't wish to go into any strong details about your friend's death, but... It was suicide via a handgun right? That's what was reported. So, how come there isn't any blood on the walls? What are you getting at? Forensics were saying that it was a suicide. And I'm no forensic scientist myself, but there doesn't appear to be any blood anywhere in this room where it should have been. So what? He just disappeared or something? No, the body was dragged out and it was real. Unfortunately, he's dead, but I think the cause is a bit different. That's funny. The weather forecast said it would be dry tonight. What's even funnier is that it isn't even raining. So someone else is in this house? Someone mystical? Maybe. Or maybe it's a phantom shower. I don't know. Just tread carefully. Something about this place doesn't seem right. Hey, Sean. Are you okay? Yeah. I just suddenly feel like hot in my stomach. Don't throw up whatever you do. I haven't been sick for a long time. It's... Is it okay if I just rest a, a bit? I'm feeling a little tired for some reason. Are you sure you're fine? You don't appear to be holding much strength in you. I'm fine. I... I just need to... Hey, why am I drooling? Why... Sean! Sean! What's going on? What the hell? He just... He, he just drowned. How is that even possible? Eric's death was not suicidal. It was someone with greater powers than the human mind can assume. Sarah, get out of here. For once, I think I need to agree. 
What are you? Come on out, whoever you are! Liam, help! The door is locked! How the hell? I'm trying to unlock it and it should, but... Whoever calls Sean to die is immediately locking the door as soon as I lock it. So we really are facing someone mystical. Sarah, I'm going up the stairs. That's where the laugh is directed at. Just come with me. If you cannot get out, then you'll have to stay with me. Liam, I am freaked out at the moment. I am usually calm, but this house... Don't panic. This will be resolved and you're not going to perish, I swear on my life. I trust you. Sarah? Sarah, what's going on? I... I feel like headed as if... as if... You listen to me! I'm going to suddenly kill everyone you ever loved before I pierce the knife into your heart! Do you understand? Liam, what are you saying? Liam, get off me! I'm going to enjoy mutilating you to the point where your head is literally cracked open. I am going to kill you! Get away from me! Get away from me now! Sarah, what the hell is going on? What? I... you were... It's that person controlling this nightmare. He is playing with your head. He, he wants you to kill me. Trying to trick our minds into believing the impossible. You must have had a real bad spell. You said you were going to kill me and my family. You were really aggressive. Like I said, the work of a madman. Yeah, yeah. Liam, I feel sick. What's going on? I'm... I'm fine. What? Never mind me. Just keep on going. Sarah... I'm fine! Liam, I've just seen something. This direction. It was something in black. What do you mean? This floating person. It was as if he was inviting us into that room over there. Wait. Do you think it could be that person? Quite possibly. He looked... he looked sad. There is something I cannot quite put my finger on, but... I believe we should move forward. Yes. Move, move forward to, to the command room. room. That's right! Walk towards my direction. I'll see if there's any medical supplies in here until we get back to my ship. Seems like someone doesn't want us to leave just yet. Well, we're not planning on leaving. Liam! Liam! Sarah? Liam? Do you like me? Sarah, what the hell is going on? Please hold me. I'm falling for you. Sarah, snap out of it! What's the matter, Liam? Don't Don't like girls? Who the hell is that? The worst nightmare! Sorry, Sarah. (sighs) Useless woman! So are you the maniac that's been killing these victims without a trace? Mysterious, isn't it? There is no need for words. You're no magician nor some form of illusionist. You clearly possess powers far greater than the average human. Who the heck are you? Who am I? I am the Vision! I am one of the most powerful practitioners of psychokinesis, telekinesis, and telepathy in the entire universe. My powers are unique. Abilities not even you can counter. Really? Ah, no, no, no. I know what you are planning before you even consider making a move. Your bono has no effect on me. Not when I have that ability to counter it. How the... Okay, I'll admit that is some pretty neat trickery you're pulling against me. Never dismiss my powers as some cheap trick. It is true power. I can read your every move. Your every thought. Your feelings instantly. I can read your past. Your future and your secrets just by focusing on you with little effort. Oh yes, I can read you like an open book. 
fascinating. Then you'll be shocked with what I have stored in my head. Memories that you would not even want to read. Well, let's put that to the test. Oh, well, no wonder my lust of hatred grew stronger than before. You are Arcelia. You had a tragic period during that war. Killing people you didn't want to. Still don't believe me? I can also affect your hearing. What the hell? Yes! Are you impressed? I can manipulate humanity to my will alone. I can make you deaf. Impressed yet? Good. Now I will return your sound senses to know. You have one memory locked away. So protected that not even the most powerful being of telekinesis can invade such a memory. Why? Enough of the mind games! Stop abusing everyone to the point of death, or I'm gonna have to put an end to that. I am sorry, Katasen. But there is no stopping my power! But why kill her? Why manipulate every single being in your path? This feeling is an addiction. No matter how bad people want me to stop, no matter how related you are to me, it never goes away. So, this is fun and games for you. This is all just out of interest, depending on if the person actually steps inside this place. This is revenge against the universe. Your people kidnapped me and told you my brain as a young child. They performed unimaginable experiments on me to protect the outcome of this universal war. My life is butchered and reduced to a point of wearing this mask for the rest of time as a result of my disfigurement. Now, I will finally pull the plug on the Ursillian legacy by ending you. You're not going to do any more harm today. This ends now. Indeed it does, but not in the way you were expecting this to end. I think you need to step into the real world and depart this illusion. What do you... Uh, 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 uh. Liam? Liam, are you awake? Jade? Mitch? What the hell is going on? You were in a short coma. We tried waking you up, but you never responded. Yeah. Seems like the blast really took a number on your mind. I don't remember. We gathered when measuring your brain scans. The blow was massive enough that it resulted in a loss of memory. Liam, I'm here to tell you that you did it. Our cellar survived. You wiped out every single riser, and the Arcelians are alive because of you. Wait, where is Sarah? You kept muttering her name. We believe you were in a world of fiction. A world where you actually killed our kind and blew up our planet along with the risers. So, Sarah wasn't real? I'm afraid not. But this is, and we're glad you're alive. We landed the orbits on our cellar. Do you want to look outside? We've been rebuilding the damage. Sure. Wait. What happened to... him? Him? Big Boss. That was another side effect of the damage you suffered. He was about to blow up this planet and you killed him. A shot in the head. You killed two birds with one stone, actually. Hello, Liam. Omega! The President! Liam, put the gun away. I am here to become delighted at your awakening. We tried our best to bring you back on your feet after your heroic efforts during the Universal War. What? It's true, all of it. Everyone, even the President, has been praying for your return to light. 
You've made a huge impact on the lives of those who thought we're going to die. Who were certain, including your best friend. Wait a minute. There is something that is bothering me here. Even after the war, Omega would congratulate me. He hated me. He even said that even if I saved the Orcellians from the war, he'd do his best to burn me alive. Liam, consider that an act of bloodlust during the war. Now, since we're living because of you solely, we want to show the universe that there is nothing to fear and have decided to live in peace. Punishing you would only result in a conflictation of that promise. Yeah, I'm starting to see the discrepancies in this. This is a poisonous teeth to a broken man! Liam, what are you doing? I know this is hard for me, but you are all an illusion, and you are all dead. Especially you, Omega. <laughs> I've wanted to shoot you for a long time. <laughs> Damn you to hell! How did you see through my perfect disguise? That was your best illusion, you need to work on it a bit more. Besides, now that I'm back in reality, you've infuriated the person that I am. Nobody gives me false hope like that. You are both strong-minded people. But I expected that from an Arcelian. But the revelation that a simple girl possessing a great defense against my powers. Wait, I am reading deep into her eyes. And that is because she wants to trust you. She has been in your territory for quite some time. She thinks of you as an icon. Leave her alone! You don't need to! Oh, but I do. And in fact, I'm going to see what can break her. By entering her deepest thought. Her worst nightmare. Liam? Liam, where are you? <sighs> Liam! Liam! Oh my god, Liam, are you okay? Sir... <coughs> You're alive. I'm here. What the hell happened to you? You're all bloody and... And... I'm dying, Sarah. I'm... I'm not even sure if... I can regenerate. Regenerate? What the hell is that? I can change my face with regeneration. Ah! Sarah, you have to survive without me. Just for me, please. It's time. Liam, I cannot. Just for me. But you're going to be safe. I have so much trust in you. You're not Leah. You're that insane creep. What? What are you doing? I'm not letting you manipulate her mind, and quite frankly, you can stay there. What have you done? How the hell was I not able to read that? Because you're a physical being, and since you can enter illusions being in someone else's mind, you can't focus on two realities at once. Leo. Sarah. It's going to be fine. I dreamt you died. I was the vision all along. I'm going to make you pay for this. Stay there, Sarah! What did I tell you? Your weapons are useless if this guy you can produce your next move instantly. How the hell do I beat this guy? Do it! You can still attack me! But I know something. Something that will put you off for good. Sarah, grab that gun over there and blow your brains out. Liam, I cannot help it. He's controlling Sarah. The link is still active. Hold on! How did I not see that coming? You cannot focus on two things at once. You have the power to control people, but it seems like your mind can only process so much. That may be the advantage to beating. Manipulating my mind just to get me back. Very well. From this moment on, I will cancel manipulating the mind into a fictional presence. 
but rather breaking you in the flesh. Prepare to meet your end. Where did he go? Found you! You never will learn at all, will you? I predicted that because you focused so much on trying to kill me. Your sense of direction is not one you have chosen to split to. Close, but no cigar. There you go. You are certainly Impressive. I'm gonna have to try something you can read where I'm shooting. How? What? How did you manage to shoot my back? Where did he go? L Liam? Sarah, it's fine, I'm here. I'm not sure where he's gone, but I best bring you to your feet before he returns. Oh man, I just feel sick. That will be the effect of the vision, entering your body, reading your mind, controlling you. Hopefully it will pass, but for now, we have to get you out of here. Sarah? I don't like where this is going. Liam, wait! Sarah, what's happening? You're floating easily! Liam, bring me down! I can't! I can't even jump! What the hell? Down you go! Are you alright? She will be fine for now. I still have a few games to play with her. Okay, enough games with Sarah. This ends between me and you. Nobody else has to be hurt. Very well. It shall end with blood flowing out of your head as Sarah watches one last time. Uh, where has it... Oh! I told you I'm more powerful than you. You cannot beat me. I can't read you. Why? Why can't I read your mind? Okay. If I keep doing that, he should be easy enough to shoot down. Time to find out. I have more than one way to throw an attack at you. Throwing pieces of wood and glass comes at me doesn't achieve anything. For my next trick... <gasps> you got lucky a couple of times. The reason why your attacks pierced me was because your mind tricked me. Very good. But in the end, I was powerful enough to see what was trickery and what was not. Now time to end this once and for all. I told you, you cannot stop me. But even if you had a way, that would be the least of your worries. Meaning? Sarah. Let's see if Sarah can do the job once more. Liam, what is happening? Come on, Sarah, you know how the saying goes. If at first you don't succeed... Liam, help me! Try! Try again! Stop it! Shoot your brains out! In front of Liam so he can see you! Liam, please, just let me die! He feels... helpless! Come, Patterson! How can you save her? Just as I expect... <laughs> uh, no! Sarah! Sarah! Are you okay? Huh? Liam? I am good. I thought I was going to die. Oh god, that headache. I am having slight pains from him. It's fine. He's grounded now. There will be no more murders as far as I'm concerned. But you're safe. And him? What happened to the vision? I've taken care of him. Something to learn, even with a mind like mine, focus on one thing means less focus on another. He focused so much on trying to kill you and hurting me, yet he never saw a direct shot coming towards him. 
Now he's paid the price. You! You are able to see through my powers! You had the power to defeat someone like me! How did I not see this? A wise man doesn't need to read the future. He can logically make his own. Your power was able to better mine. I feel this is the best way. Wait, what is this? Remorse? You could say that. The Orsilians, when they were removed from this world, my lust for devastation was still burning, never stopping. I couldn't ignore it. And I had fun manipulating humanity. A simpler form of control. They were always a link to our cellar. And their quest to safety. And I knew those few good Orsilians who never asked to be burnt to ashes would feel burdened if I touched the atrocious filth of humanity. Taking out your anger on humanity, there are families who are forever hurt by your actions and you're ignoring that. No, I acknowledge their pain. But when they perish, I feel their heartache. Part of me tells me to stop, that my revenge was fulfilled. But until another part doesn't feel content, till I found an Orsillian by a miracle, wandering the universe, that person was you. But through my defeat, I saw beauty. What are you talking about? Passion all my life. That one emotion has been removed from my own life. But the passion of a being, it made me realize that this defeat <coughs> was necessary. This may not be our only encounter. But you're dying. Yes, and I am very grateful for your gift to me. But before these events, I was part of an operation. The group in which you'll one day stumble upon. The Shadow Unit. They are the affiliated group of mine. Their leader is a man you have had a keen interest on. The Hood. The Hood? You're working with the Hood? What's his name? I could not find out who he was. Though it may not seem that of a good disguise. He applied a powerful enough perception filter that not even someone like me could bypass. What if Thomas Devlin was telling the truth? Well, now it isn't just Thomas saying it. It's you as well. And your mind is pretty prevailing, but I just don't see any logic in this. And that is why we want his name. All I know is he's someone who wants me dead. You're the closest hope on his nature, and you don't even know his real name? If I did, I would tell you. Test you into seeing if you can defeat her as easily you did me. Now my journey has turned its final corner, and now that you have made me feel the agony I inflicted onto others, I can offer one final piece of help. After what you did, you still want to help? What I did was nothing compared to the plans of the Hood. The initial plan was to take humanity's freedom. Take away all their choices. Eradicate it by taking the Book of Darkness. The Book of Darkness? That's never been brought up. He spoke of a book that was lost in reality. Waiting to be found. A book too powerful. The book contains dark power. I tried to feed on it to make me stronger, but it was too much, even for me. Upon release, universes would collapse under the power of their wielder, as he or she would have the power to conquer the universe, to conquer every universe, with every species accepting their new master. Your time is running short. Tell me where this book is. The location of the book is unknown to me. 
I can see the location of almost anything. But even without me possessing this knowledge, I can expect you to find a location with ease. His final plan is to kill off all life in the universe. With those only loyal to his cause being allowed to live, but live under his rule. Yes, I was a murderer, a psychopath, but my goal was only to harm a few. I am honest! It's okay. I believe you. What? Sarah, what he did was wrong. He manipulated a few to feed the desire of redemption against my people. You were a young child when they tried to discover new ways of survival, trying to use accuracy for the sake of their own fate. And now, I can die in peace, knowing that people understand that all I went through was torture. Why did you align yourself in the Shadow Unit in the first place if you are so against the plans of the Hood? I was unaware of who he was at first. I I can't say anything without spoiling your little plot, but one day, you will return to the shadows. He was, at first, building a universal weapon, inspired by one of your projects. Yes, he was going to new planets he despised. You will have to find out more when you reach the shadows. One day, I pray you return to this world alive or removed from the experience of loss. The Shadows is a dangerous planet. Just rest. No rest for the wicked. But if I can offer some future thoughts for, for the both of you without rupturing time, when I was inside Sarah's mind, I could see that you would play an integral role in her life. Liam, you are the most important person in her existence. For many reasons. As for you... Don't waste your final moments revealing some big things for me. I like my story to remain a mystery. You know, this is the first time I've used my powers for the greater good. And it feels just that. No pulse. He's gone. A shame. Sarah, let's leave. We've stayed long enough. Yeah, staying around will only make me feel more uncomfortable with his body. Lying there. The Hood. A man that not even the vision could see past. That is where my fate is decided by. A man who is hidden by a hood. The Vision surely knew who this hooded character was, though. To be fair, I do not believe any of his predictions. A person can make their own future, their own path. They don't need some nut job dictating what happens. But the Orcellians made him for that exact purpose, to actually dictate the future. The Orcellians grabbed a human being and turned him into one of their sick experiments, only so they could find out if they could sleep soundly. You could say the vision was one of the key moments of the birth of their insanity. He has to be wrong on one occasion. He isn't perfect. Nobody is. No, but he has an immense load of power for a human being, and the fact that this isn't the last I see of him is what scares me the most. He said he was assigned to a unit called the Shadow Unit, a band of elite members with extraordinary abilities. And he said I will meet their members in the future. Looks like we're going to have to be careful about our footsteps from now on, Sarah. I thought you were always careful. I need to ask you something. I'm listening. You know how the vision would invade the minds of people and give them an illusion that would drive them to an act of death? Yeah, I had that experience. But I counted it subconsciously. So did I. Just, however, 
But the question I wanted to ask you was, can you regenerate? Sarah? I had a vision where you were dying, and you said that you can change your face. What does that mean exactly? Was his illusion description real? Yeah, it was. When I'm at a point of fatal demise, my cells all work at once to try and change, to stop me from dying. That also means that my appearance changes as well as my personality. Pray it doesn't happen anytime soon in the future. Yeah. Sarah, it's fine. Nothing is going to happen to me. I'm sticking around for a very long time. It's time. I hope so. Let's move on. On to the next adventure. In Manipulation Liam Catterson was played by Liam Catterson. Sarah Penelope was played by Bella McCatty. The Vision was played by Simon Clavery. Sean Webley was played by Ashanti Amod Patmon. Blake Matthew was played by Chris Neal. Jade Caraxes was played by Kimberly Fleming. Mitch Aaron was played by Martin Arkless. Omega was played by Andrew Fleming. Eric Wolf was played by Brian Freitag. This story was written by Liam Caddison. Coming up in part one of series one's finale. What the hell is this place? I thought I died. Who are you and why are you here? A hooded figure sent you here. I guess he sent us here, but how did he manage it? Whoever this guy is, he knows me too good. I've been looking for Lord Willis for quite some time. I doubt that he has a single spot of humanity in his DNA. You don't know what is real or fake. What has he done to you? Liam, it's him! You are not going to do anything! What he does is going to be so funny. Don't you dare! Kill me! No! 